Perk, do you like how I said Team USA basketball practice as if maybe they had been on the swimming team or the gymnastics team? I just, just wanted to clarify that for the people. Mm. The Celtics team, though, that Jason is on is, I know, a particular interest to you, sir. So what do you think it will take for new coach Udoka, Tatum, and the Celtics to be title contenders once again? Well, in a perfect world, I would like them to get Kyle Lowry, but I don't think they have the capital or the money or the cap space to do it. I would actually, you know, consider trading Marcus Smart for Malcolm Brogdon. I would bring him in. I think he's a guy that fits in well around the two guys that matters the most, and that's Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, right? He's a 50, 40, 90 guy. He knows how to play off the ball. You saw him when he was with uh, uh, with the Milwaukee Bucks early in his career. We saw him with the Indiana Pacers and how he's able to be a system guy. So a guy that compliments him very well, He's making around $20 million a year, which he deserves it. He could go out there and get you 20 a night, and he don't need the ball in his hands. He also can run the point if you need him to, and he's not bad on the, de on the defensive side of things. I think uh, Perk made a great point. It's been an experiment as far as trying to find the right point guard to fit with Tatum and Brown. You know, they tried Kyrie. That didn't really work. They tried Kimba. That really worked, and those are score-first point guards. I think, as Perk pointed out, you need someone that can, uh, you know, initiate the offense, get the ball in the right people's hands, knock down shots when needed, then play defense. So I think that's probably the most important key to this team getting back on track. I think last year got kind of lost in the shuffle with the pandemic, injuries. I think Brad Steven lost that locker room early in the season. You can kind of tell through their uh, inconsistent play. So I think adding Moses Brown for that Kimball Walker trade is going to be a big for him. He's a big, tall kid that can rebound, block shots, and really hold that paint down. So I'm really looking forward to these guys getting back on track. But again, I think finding a point guard a throwback Rondo ideally would be perfect, and I'm sure Celtics fans would like that, but someone that can definitely get the ball in the, in the guy's hands in the right positions and be effective on both ends. I mean, Rajon Rondo himself might be available, hey, Matt Farr. I just know. don't know if you, you can stick know. him in a no. de-aging time machine. <laughs> I love Rondo, but uh, that ain't <laughs> Chris Bosh, uh, you know, look, Kendrick brought up trading Marcus Smart, which has been heresy to Boston fans for a long time, but do you think a move mm -hmm. like that to get someone back who can have a little different element to that team is a smart move, or do you see something else being a better decision? Well, I definitely have to go three for three with the fellas. Um, yeah, they mm -hmm. do have to have an upgrade <laughs> at point guard. Um, you, you know, that's been a struggle for them for years. And, and, you know, sometimes it's really taxing, especially on Tatum, Marcus Smart, to play those point guard positions sometimes, play, in, you know, pretty much out of their positions and try to make things happen. Um, you definitely want a floor general out there that could dictate the offense, get the ball to where it needs to go, and really run that team. And, and really, outside of that, they have everything else. Um, bringing back Al Horford, um, they have uh, veteran leadership in the locker room. Um, you know, I want to give uh, credit to M.A. Udoka for really just putting the work in and making sure he's uh, uh, ready and available when his time came. I mean, you know, he's been um, a great assistant coach for some time, and now it's his time to shine up there with Boston. And I'm sure he knows the position that he's in. Kendrick can tell you that the moment you come up to Boston, I'm pretty sure you're expected to win right away, and it's championship or bust city. So mm -hmm. they're going to have to put something together, but definitely the first thing they have to address is that point guard situation, and then I think they can build out from there. I, I think one thing to keep in mind, too, which makes Perk's point more valid is, although Marcus Smart is that emotional leader, that defensive leader, Jason Tatum and, and, and Brown are actually two-way players. They right. both get in and mm -hmm. play some defense. And normally with young scores, it's only one side of the ball. But those two guys play both sides of the ball. That's which makes, again, heart and soul Marcus Smart. I love to see him and what he's done there. But it makes him expendable because your two best scores can also play defense. Yeah, well, I, I like the idea when everyone gets to be a two-way player because there's <laughs> play on both ends of the basketball court. Mm -hmm. That's personally my preference in a player, but that's just me. 